2022. The start of a brand new year. New year, new me, new goals, new year's resolutions. For some, a new year represents a fresh start, a new beginning, a new chapter in our lives. For others, it's just like any other month of the year. No new goals, no fresh start, just like any other day. I even have some friends that despise the phrase New Year, New Me, or even the thought of New Year's resolutions. What are your opinions on New Year's? The New Year always brings a sense of optimism for me. I always start the New Year with a list of goals for myself, but somewhere along the way, I always find myself either forgetting about them or making excuses as to why I can't reach those said goals as time goes on. Last year, my goals were pretty number-based. I wanted to reach a certain goal weight, read 10 books, make a certain amount of money, and reach a certain number of subscribers on my YouTube channel and followers on my Instagram page. This year, instead of trying to set goals that have some sort of numeric value, I plan on setting some more realistic goals for myself. I always start the year off so motivated to do so many things at once. I would go to the gym every single day, read, journal, wake up early, cook more at home, practice yoga, you know, all of the things that articles and people on social media say make you a better person. Looking back on it now, I just have to ask myself, What was all of that for? To better myself? To prove to my friends on social media how much time I've dedicated to better myself as a person? Did doing all of these things actually make me happy? Or was I just correlating the amount I was doing to being productive? And do I correlate how productive I'm being to my worth? I've been in therapy for almost three months now, and something I've noticed and learned through therapy is that I tie a lot of my value and self-worth to how productive I am, how much work I get done in a day, my work ethic, how many other things I can fit into my schedule in a day. A lot of that goes back to how I was raised as a kid, but I'm still currently unpacking all of that day by day, so I'll talk more about my therapy experience at a later time. I have done a lot of soul searching in the past few years and I still feel as if I haven't completely found myself or my purpose yet. That's something that I am still learning to accept when I'm overthinking, but today I am accepting that it's okay to still not have life all figured out. Living in the moment and appreciating my life for what it is now is fulfilling enough. The future is never promised and there are endless opportunities waiting for me. I just wanted to take this time to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take thousands of classes on almost any creative subject. It's a place to get inspired and learn new skills, and I could not think of a better time than the start of a new year to begin investing in yourself. One of my goals this year is to hone in on my craft as a YouTuber and learn how I can continue to create content that people can not only relate to, but enjoy. The first class I took this year was YouTube Success. Script, Shoot, and Edit with Marquez Brownlee. He gave me a new perspective on how to view content creating, and I learned a lot of new great things from this class. There are so many other classes for you to explore from. Business, photography, video editing, meditation, productivity, drawing, and even planting. Skillshare is offering a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium to the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description. A huge thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring a portion of this video. Besides optimism, the new year has a way of making me appreciate everything that I feel like I take for granted on days that I feel like all of my problems are so big. I remember to be thankful for the roof over my head, clean running water, being able to put food on the table. I remember to be thankful that I'm surrounded by kind, compassionate, and supportive friends. I remember to be thankful for the ability to share my life with all of you that are willing to take the time to watch. Remembering all of these things that I have to be grateful for in my life never fails to make my problems that seem so big in the moment feel so minute from this perspective. This year, I want to read more often, not set a specific goal of how many books I want to read. I want to continue to remain consistent in the gym and practice more yoga, not set a goal weight for myself. I want to pick up new hobbies and try new things, not pick a hobby to master by the end of the year. I want to do more of the things that brought me joy when I was younger. I want to create content that I'm proud of that others can relate to, not just chase the number of subscribers that I have. I want to spend more time with my loved ones, make more memories with them, not caring about what we do or where we travel to. I want to continue to be happy with my career wherever I may end up in the future and not just chase a paycheck. 
I want to be comfortable being alone with my thoughts and I want to enjoy the time that I have to myself. I want to be more present and attentive in my day-to-day life. I want to remember that I live by my own timeline and that there's no race or competition to be where everyone else is. I want to stop correlating how productive I am to my self-worth. I want to be kinder to myself, be more patient with myself. I want to stop apologizing for the things I don't need to be sorry for. I want to be 100% myself, authentically and unapologetically. I want to live a fulfilling life the way I choose to live it. So however you feel towards the start of a new year, remember there is no right way to feel about it. If the new year gives you motivation or optimism, run with it. If it brings up bad memories or emotions, allow yourself to feel them. If it's just like any other day, live it to the fullest. You have every right to feel the way you do towards the new year because your feelings are valid. If you need the start of a new week, a new month, or a new year to start working on your goals, so be it. Just know that whenever you're ready to make a change and prioritize yourself, It's not too late, and it's never too late to start. Whatever choices you decide to make, whenever you're ready to make them, remember to do it for you. Put yourself and your happiness first this year. I'll be right there with you.